classroom, Richard Curtis. I'm rolling. Oh, what are you guys doing here? I'm pumped. Wait till you see the teams that are playing today. Oh, squad. Oh, my goodness. What's up, you guys? Good to see you. Oh, my goodness. This team, I'm telling you, you're going to love them. Today, we have my students and we have my teachers from Bunker Hill Middle School in Gloucester County. Everyone just jumped inside the classroom because I'm going to let these middle school students try to best their teachers, right? And I'm going to put a big old check on the line. I'm going to put a ton of bragging rights on the line. And now all they have to do is answer more questions than the teacher and the trophy's theirs. Hey, pop quiz starts now. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, that's how you play, everybody. Three great teachers, three awesome students. It's all up for grabs, and the time officially starts now. What is 17 plus 90? First one in, Jackson. 107. Correct. A 2020 TikTok trend typically involving three people dancing in a line to a set of choreographed moves is set to what song by the weekend? Jackson. Um, blinding Lights. Good. Love that he thinks these out. This is a double extra credit question. Here we go. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Texas? First one in, Mr. Prasad. TX. Good. In what swimming pool game does one player whose eyes are closed seek another player by yelling out the first name of a famous explorer or having the others respond with the explorer's last name? Jackson. Marco Polo. Good. What state of matter does a liquid transition into when its temperature decreases and falls below the liquid's freezing point? Mr. Murrow. Solid. Good. In the classic children's song, what climbed up the water spout? Mia Rose. Um, spider. Good. Yeah, itsy bitsy. And how about that? There's no itsy bitsy score for these students who just put up 40 points after pop quiz. We love to see it. And teachers, 30 points for you guys. And nicely done. That's a start, people. Hey, I can't wait for you to meet our teams because we have the students and teachers today from Bunker Hill Middle School in Seoul, New Jersey, home of the Bulldogs. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Lucy, and I'm in seventh grade, and I really like to do the musicals and the plays at school. Hi, I'm Mia Rose. I'm in seventh grade, and I like to dance. Hello, I'm Jackson, and I'm in seventh grade, and I'm going to win to brag in front of all of the teachers. Hi, I'm Mr. Prasad. I teach mostly seventh grade social studies, uh, sixth year teaching, and I am here to beat all these kids so they can't make fun of me for the rest of the year. Hi, I'm Miss Olszewski. I am a seventh grade social studies teacher. This is my first year of teaching, but that's not stopping me because students, you're going down. Hi, I'm Mr. Murrow. I teach art six, seven, and eight at Bunker Hill Middle School. This is my 17th year teaching, and I hope my lifetime of watching game shows serves me well today. It should be said that this school has been on before. Lucy, what happened the last time you guys were on the show? The students lost with zero points. We yeah. had zero points. You've already timed it by four. You're up to 40, and that has to feel pretty good, right, guys? Yeah. Yep. Yes. What do you say? You know what else would feel awesome? If we got to send our teachers to detention. You want in? Yeah! yeah. Let's do it! <laughs> Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, I'm gonna start with the trailing team. Teachers, here's your first category to pass or play on. Here we go. Historical places. We'll play. Here you go. The ancient city of Pompeii, which was destroyed by a volcano, is located in what present day country? Italy. Italy. Italy, oh. Italy is correct. And uh, 
oh, students, you haven't even started the game. No questions asked, but one of you is already out. Teachers, who's going? Can we send Jackson? Jackson. I think we got Jackson. 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 Yeah. He's done. Any parting words, Jackson? Um, no. Okay. Don't <laughs> attention. It's okay. All right, bud. Don't worry. We're going to send somebody else your way. Ladies, let's see if we can get you guys on the board right here okay. with your category, pass or play on science. Play. Here you go. What is the term for the specialized structures that perform specific functions within a cell, such as, such as mitochondria, ribosomes, and the endoplasmic reticulum? No guess? We were looking for organelles. That's a tough one right there. All right, listen. This is tough to say, but one of you has to go to detention, leaving the other one to fend for themselves. Teachers, who's going? Lucy? We'll take Lucy out. Lucy! All right, Mia Rose. That's it. You're holding on tight. All right, guys. Two in detention, but that is okay. You're not out of it yet. I got a lot of confidence in you. All right, teachers, the category goes back to you or pass or play on, okay? Here we go. Sports. Play, play. Here you play. go. In track and field, what is the name of the competition in which athletes run down a track and make a hop, then a step, and finally jump into a sand pit to achieve the farthest possible distance? Long jump. Long jump. We were looking for the triple jump. And just like that, Mia Rose, how's that feel? Give me a little shake, girl. You get to send one of your teachers to detention. Who's it gonna be? Mr. Murrow. Let's go, Mr. Murrow. She's had that built up all day long, ready to call it out, and she gets it done. There it is, they're already pointing. You can sit there, not with us. Okay, so Mr. Murrow, hang out right there. Mia Rose, the category goes back to you now, okay? okay? And you are in control, so you get to pass or play on this. Food and drink. Pa I mean, play, 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 play. We're going to play? Play, play, play. I, I didn't mean to say pass. <laughs> okay, so just clarifying, we are going to play. Yes. Here you go. In March of 2022, Gold Belly teamed up with what rapper to launch the H-Town Hottie Pie? Um, <laughs> either. Oh, no. It's no, I don't. It's sir. We were looking for, does anyone know in the audience? Megan the Stallion was the answer there. And how about no it? But I love to do this, Mia Rose. You go to detention. Yeah. Mr. Moreau, come on back and celebrate with the team. Because just like that, you guys grabbed 40 points and the lead of this thing, and you just saved yourselves from having to go into detention. Students, you sit right there. Everybody at home, you stay right there when we come back. We go to our class with the art teacher. Don't go anywhere. the show today it's the students and teachers from bunker hill middle school in sewell new jersey i love it they're going hard and now it's everybody's favorite time as we go to a little art class here's how to play the game each team selected one player to draw the first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. All right, that's how you play. Mia Rose, you feeling confident? You feeling good yes. up here? Yes. All right, well, now you got a big decision to make. You got two choices. Is it red or blue? Red. You take that, open up behind the easel here. This is what you're going to have five seconds Ooh. to draw. Okay, what I can do, do that. I, I can do that easily. I think you can do it as well. You ready? Pick up your marker. Five seconds is quick. So here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, she finished with three seconds left. All right, talk it out, you two. What is it? A door. A door. A door. 
Is that your answer? Yes. yes. That is yes. the right answer. 30 points gets you right where you need to be. We're going to switch you out with Mr. Murrow over here. Well done, Mia Rose. Well done. Gets that team up some points. There we go. Look, I love the camaraderie. Ms. Murrow was trying to get a high five. She was like, nah. Yeah. What are you doing? I get it. All right, that's your word, okay? You ready? Five seconds. Officially starts right now. Teachers, how you feeling over there? Feeling Doing good. All right. Yeah, all right. we got this. Yeah. He is an art teacher. I think we should say that. Ready? You got, you got a few seconds to tell us what this is. What is it? Fork. 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 Yeah. Who gives the word fork to the art teacher? That's unbelievable. I want to recount at this one. Hey, very nice drawing. Oh my gosh, I wanted to push him to the limits right there. Hey, before we go to break, I want to put some more points on the line for everybody. Let's get a little extra credit in the house. All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question today. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer. If they get it right, it's 10 points. Here's the question. Turbobot, prank bro, and my bro are examples of what remote controlled electronic toy, which can perform pranks, move small items, and record and deliver voice messages. I have no idea, but put it in my Amazon cart because that sounds unbelievable. When we come back, we find out what everybody's talking about in our next big purchase. Thanks for watching The Classroom. You stay right there. We gotta give you another word. the classroom today we have students and teachers from bunker hill middle school all right listen this is a story of redemption for these students as they come back and make a fighting chance here to try to reclaim victory here after a season one defeat to the teachers now we asked a little bit extra credit when before we went to break and here was the question TurboBot, Prank Bro, and My Bro are examples of what remote controlled electronic toy which can perform pranks, move small items, and record and deliver voice messages. Sounds amazing. Lucy, what'd you think? Did you get it right? I don't think so. <gasps> well, you can show us the answer okay. if you'd like. Let me just, yeah. Toy Robot, yeah, incorrect. All right. Mr. Prasad, what did you say? Um, we put Ultra Robot. Never heard of it before. <laughs> <laughs> that was a solid guess. The answer, ready everybody? Put this in your Amazon carts. Really rad robots. That sounds fun. I'm asking for it for Christmas. Come on, Santa, bring it home. All right, guys. Hey, if you win the money, now listen, you're only down a few points here. If you win this cash, Lucy, where's it going? Um, we're going to use it for a seventh grade fall party. Oh, what do we have at the party? I don't know, because they're the team of teachers are the ones who plan it. I think That's we should plan it, goes. and hear, hear me out, ball pit. <gasps> Giant ball yeah. pit. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, listen, we'll make a committee before we're done today, okay? All right, teachers, what about you? What are you guys going to do with the money? I wanted a massage chair for the faculty lounge. I love that. <laughs> but, you know, after talking it over, we decided we'll just use it for end-of-the-year activities for the seventh graders. Hear me out. Huge ball pit, okay? <laughs> I don't know if you're interested. <laughs> But it sounds awesome. All In right, guys, listen, theater. ball pit, end of the year, the bus slide. driver with a slide, yeah, field trip. Slide. Let's go. End Let's get out of here. Let's go. Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, I love this. I can't believe we're going here. Today we're taking a trip to the Eagles training camp, everybody. Let's go birds. Our girl Jen Fred's there from Good Day Philadelphia and she's asking the questions today. So Jen, take it away with question one. Hey everybody, you know I love a field trip, so why not come to Eagles training camp? We're gonna try and get all of these questions asked and answered before I get kicked out because you know I'm gonna be trouble all day today. So here is your first question. Let's test your knowledge of some of the opponents that the Eagles will face this year. In 2023, Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers was traded to 
What? First one in, Mr. Murrow, the New York Jets. New York Jets, absolutely going to get you up to 110. Jackson, I heard your buzzer. It just didn't quite beat your teachers. All right, question number two. Jen, all about the birds. Super Bowl 57 was a heartbreaker to all of us Eagles fans. And this guy, Jalen Hurts. So here is your question. Back in 2022, what NFC team defeated the Cincinnati Bengals in Super Bowl 56? Lucy. I don't remember. The good news is we just had a little us time there, which was great. Teachers, you get to buzz in if you want to know for the steal. Mr. Murrow. Los Angeles Rams. Los Angeles Rams is right. Get you up to 120. That's it. All right, we have one question remaining. Mr. Murrow wants to sweep the round, but my students, you guys are ready to get one of these Eagles questions too. Jen, one more, let's do it. It's the season of Kelly Green, so you know I had to go with the Kelly Green helmet. Guess what? That has nothing to do with this question. In fact, we're going off the field for the third question in this group. New Heights is a podcast launched in 2022 by what brothers who are both NFL players? Jackson. The Kelsey brothers. I need first names. Jason Kelsey and Travis Kelsey. I need middle names too and social <laughs> security numbers. Come on, Jackson. <laughs> That's going to get you right up to 80 points, my friend. Well done. Hey, yeah. you did not let Mr. Rowe sweep that round today. But yep. Jen, I'll tell you what, what a cool field trip. Thank you for bringing us along. Scores. Teachers, 120, hanging out, smiling, living the dream. Students, 80 points on the board. Bunch of seventh graders making some moves. We love to see it. All right, you guys, put your books away. No calculators allowed. It's final exam time. Here it is. Top of today's final exam is eight is enough. This means each of the answers will have exactly eight letters in them. Good luck, everybody. All right, I'm going to ask both teams three questions about this final exam topic. Each correct answer you guys get will bank you 100 points. You're going to work together as a team during the commercial break, so no writing quite yet. Here is your first question. What is the collective term for the colonists who rebelled against British control during the American Revolution? The answer there is plural. Second question. You break me, then I break my rules. Last time was the last time too. Our lyrics in a 2023 song by Post Malone called what? Finally, in geometry, two lines in the same plane that always remain the same distance apart and never intersect are known as what kind of lines? Oh man, eight letters in each. The right answer is going to get him 100 points. Who wins this thing? Students want it so bad. We got ball pits on our mind. Teachers, they're saying not today, kids, and they're looking to go 2-0 here in the classroom against their students. When we come back, one of them gets what they want. Who's it going to be? Stay right there. We'll be right back after this. today. Welcome in everybody. Today it's the students and the teachers from Bunker Hill Middle School who are going head to head. Now listen, this is their second appearance here on the show. Bunker Hill Middle School made an appearance back in season one where the teachers dominated the students, but that is not the case here today. As students, you guys have a very respectable 80 points and only really one question difference from the teachers who have 120. Now, you know these students, teachers, how are we feeling about your chances going to the final exam knowing you have three great kids over here? Um, I think we had about 59 more seconds than we needed for this Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, and students, you, now you know how they're feeling. How are you guys feeling? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you needed, you yeah. needed their extra 59 seconds, yeah, right? Yeah, All right. Yeah. Well, listen, time is up, so let's get to the questions. Here we go. The topic of today's final exam is eight is enough. Now, that means every answer that you're going to give has eight letters in the answer. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. 
Don't forget, each correct answer now is worth 100 points, teams. So let's see who aced this final exam. Who am I going to cap champion? We find out right now and jump into this. Question one. What is the collective term for the colonists who rebelled against British control during the American Revolution? All right, students, we start with you, Jackson. The loyalist. Loyalist, incorrect. That was the correct number of letters, but incorrect answer. Mr. Moreau, for a commanding lead, what did you say? We said the Patriots. The Patriots is correct. Devastation on the student side. They just put their hands up, oh no. All right, and it is has to be oh no, because as we get to question two, here's where we're at, students. If the teachers get this right, it doesn't matter statistically if you get it right. Teachers can win this right now on a pop culture question. Here it was. You break me, then I break my rules. Last time was the last time too. Our lyrics in a 2023 song by Post Malone called what? Here we go. I'm going to my teachers here. Miss Olszewski, this is a huge moment for the win. For students, we go to you. What'd you say? Said chemical. Chemical is correct. Teachers win it on the second question. Get it in here. Hey, in geometry, two lines in the same plane that always remain the same distance apart and never intersect. Students parallel. There it is. We were at it. The students rocked it. And you rocked it too as we had another great episode here in the classroom. Thank you for being with us, everybody.